having said that your face can be your fortune, which obviously doesn't quite apply to me, but it was certainly true for my next guest when her career took off back in the 70s. Are you man enough to take the two of us? Because we don't like to be alone. Success took top flight model and turned pop star Nina Carter all over the world. But when her glamorous lifestyle suddenly fell apart, her life changed in a totally unexpected way. Now she shares that experience, along with her beauty tips, with women up and down the country. More than a makeover, her show is just as much about Nina's search for beauty within. Inevitably, when you're driving in the fast lane, you're bound to crash. And uh, I did. I became addicted to, to drugs. I um, went down to five and a half stone. My stomach shrank and slipped into my throat, and my throat shut. And uh, I had projectile sickness. That's a nice point to come over here and start cleansing your face. <laughs> and I'm going to stop my story for a second while I tell you that you must always use upward movements on your neck, OK? I do feel that we're put on life's journey for a purpose. And I, I think that my, my life has gone the way it has gone in order that I can develop an outreach with women in a way that perhaps will help others to see that wherever you're coming from, that it can all be dealt with better, uh, with an inner knowledge and uh, with an inner beauty. You've got extremely good skin, you really have. Well, getting back to my story, I recovered from near death from an operation and uh, moved out of London where I met my husband, Rick Wakeman, who was a Christian and is a Christian. Where was I? I was converted, believe it or not, by a golf instructor. And it was sort of from that moment on that I was really uh, touched by the Lord and it changed my life in a very dramatic way. I actually haven't stopped smiling since, and that was five years ago. I mean, it's fair to say that when you become a Christian, you don't have a smoother ride, but you do have an inner strength and a peace and you have uh, God's hand upon your life and you're able to cope and deal with things so much better. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. We are family. Get up everybody inside. My message to women is that all women are beautiful. It's great to be able to uh, help uh, women to develop more confidence in themselves by uh, showing them how to do their makeup. Um, but really, my main message is that in knowing God, this inner beauty that comes from within far outweighs what I can provide cosmetically to anyone. It's okay for you, Nina, because you do look great. So it's okay for you to talk about inner beauty. I read in a paper recently that 80% of women don't like the way they look for some reason or the other. Well, I think a lot of women feel perhaps that they're unattractive or, or that they, they don't fit in in life anymore. Maybe they've lost their husbands or they're going back to the workplace and they feel conscious of the way they are. And my message to them is perhaps not to spend so much time uh, so much time concentrating on the way that they look, but to spend more time concentrating on who they are and what they are and what they believe in. Weaver God, mend the torn fabrics of our lives, smooth the tangled threads, weave them into new and beautiful patterns restored to your design. God, teach us to be patient. Teach us to go slow. Teach us how to wait on you when our way we do not know. Teach us sweet forbearance when things do not go right, so we remain unruffled when others grow uptight. Teach us how to quiet our racing, rising heart, so we may hear the answer you're trying to impart. Teach us to let go, dear God, and pray undisturbed until our heart is filled with inner peace and we learn to know 
your will. Prayer from my special guest, Nina.